just thought I'd do another little video on the uh, ATS tractors that everyone seems to like. This is an ATS 225 exclusive spec that's just come through, it's been delivered to us. It's got the really nice tyres they are. It doesn't half make it look big and strong. But yeah, Dyna 7 transmission. And I thought I'd just have a little walk round and say a bit more about Dyna 7 really. This gap in the cab here is brilliant. So it lets you have that massive wiper. That wiper now wipes, oh, it's gotta be 80% of the window, certainly all of the window that you'd want wiped. And it also makes it so quiet in the cab, having that detachment from the, from the engine bay. And then also it makes the visibility better as well. And right, let's jump in. Love these seats as well. It's got this new seat now where you can the uh, top of the art headrest goes over when you lean around to look at something. Dyna 7. So I've done a video on Dyna e Power already. Dyna 7, it's the settings are the same more or less as we're used to with Dyna 6. You choose a takeoff gear, same as before, and to do that, as I showed in my last pick video, all you need to do to change your takeoff gear now is press that, it highlights the 3A, and you scroll the scroll wheel and it changes it for you. Then, if you want to do your reverse gear, press the button again and you can have your reverse gear separate. Nice and easy. As before as well, where it says 43K, that is all it will do at the current time. If you want to go faster on the road, again, scroll your scroll wheel. That wants to be set at 53 kilometers an hour, and then she'll just, you know, she'll go up to 53K for you. The thing with Dyna 7 really, which is different to Dyna e-power is in auto mode if you put it in auto mode obviously it will change all the way through all the gears from gear 1 to gear 28 if you wanted to but you wouldn't want to do that in the field so the only setting that's different on this and it's unique to Dyna 7 is um, field mode in auto obviously if you're working in a field, you'd only want to stay in a range. And the way to set it into a range is to press, there's a button at the back of the trigger here. You press that button and scroll the scroll wheel at the same time. And you can see now we've brought up range one, two, and three. You don't have range four really, because that's all of them. Range three or range two are the ones you'll use most of the time. If you've got that set, it will only auto shift the gears in that particular range. And then when you leave the field, all you've got to do is remember to just put it into that one and then it will auto shift through the ranges up to the top gear of 4G, I think it is, something like that. So that's really Dyna 7. I will say there's a lot of people who didn't like the range change in Dyna 6. And they've addressed that with Dyna 7. It's smoother, without a doubt. It's still not quite seamless. If you want seamless range changes, you need to be looking at Dyna E-Power. But Dyna 7, I can assure you, it's a lot slicker than Dyna 6 was. The other thing you can do, which we, we had a bit of criticism about, was how quickly you, sort if you're taking off in 3A, how long it would take to shift up to top gear and I understand that completely 
what you can do on this tractor is if I just simulate it at the moment little presses on your joystick still do one gear change at a time normal stuff okay there's a detent at the end of this that you push through if you use that detent go back to 3c so one push all the way through the detent it'll skip gears now so you can skip every other gear which will obviously Half double the amount the time. of time it takes to top gear just little things they've really really thought about with Dyna 7 to make it even better than it was before